Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about how you can create an opt-in form for email subscription in your .netbook website by using the opt-in email module from DataSprings. Now, here's DataSprings website, and this is the page that talks about the opt-in email module. And here is the snow covered page that you can purchase the opt-in email module from. The latest version of opt-in email module that I'm that is for sale is version 4.3. In our in, in our case here, in, a, in my example, I'll be playing around with version 4.2. So I have that version already downloaded. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my dev site, my development site. I'm going to log in as super user account because I do have to install this module. And I'm just going to install it as a regular module under host module definitions. I'm going to the pull down menu the action menu, and I'm going to select install module. I'm going to click browse. I'm going to find the install package. Here it is. I'm going to click open. I'm going to click next. I'm going to click next again. And then next. Accept the license. Hit next. Okay, now let's scroll down and see if there is any errors. No errors. Installation successful. Perfect. So let's click the return. So now let's have a look if it has installed properly. Yes, it has. So uh, the opt-in module it has it's composed of uh, four different modules. So when you install it, it has the advanced email, opt-in email, previous newsletter, and simple opt-in. Uh, and see pop team. Now let's go back to our home page. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create a page where we can add this module and give it a try, see how it works. So let's click new. Let's call it email subscription. And let's make this visible to our users. And let's click update. Okay, so we have the new page here. I'm just going to remove the text HTML at the top so we can have a clean page. Now, from the top where it says module drop down, I'm going to select. I initially I have two options to start setting up the email opt in. I can choose the opt in email or the simple opt in. Now, to get us going very fast, very quickly, we can start with the simple opt-in. Uh, if we compare the simple opt-in with the opt-in email, it will give us less options. It will be less complex to get things started. So let's start from it. Now I'm going to click Add Module to the page. So once you plug in the simple opt-in to the page, you will see right away just those options. You can set the email address and then you can click on subscribe me. So very simple. That's the reason why it's called simple opt-in because there's not much here. If you just plug it to the page, you can start use it, using it right away. Now it does have a couple of more settings that we can explore. So we can, we can have more options from our opt-in uh, form. So let's go to the action menu and let's go under settings. One thing that I want to quickly mention is that there is a very comprehensive user manual, user guide uh, provided by DateSprings about this module. So it has over 140 pages, very well organized. So organized, so you can have a very, a very good reference here in this documentation. So let's go back to our site. Let's go to the settings of the opt-in email module. Here they are. So 
from here let's have a look at the general settings let's see what sparks our attention here so uh, there is an option that says notify staff of new subscriptions i can check that i can add the notification email address for the person who should be uh, notified about the new subscriber i can hide the help icon help icon is this little question mark prior to the to the field i can hide that if i want i can have labels and fields in separate lines if i want let's say i don't want that and i can also again we are using the simple opt-in so i can also ask for first name and last name as well so if i check this and at the button i click update couple of more settings will show up, a couple of more options. First is that it's the, the labels are coming in the same line as the fields. Then we do have some additional messages here. We have a message at the top, get current news and events. Again, just a, a standard blurb and a standard blurb here at the button as well. We can manipulate those texts if, I, if we don't want them at all. So we can go back to the action menu and then go to settings. Then if we scroll down under layout settings, we have the header, we have the footer that we can either change it or just remove it completely. And for the sake of our example here, I'm just going to remove it completely. I don't want header. I'm going to select header. I'm going to just delete this blurb that is there as default. I think I can, I just need to update the message. Then I can do the same thing for the footer. I don't want footer there. So I'm going to delete this. Update message. Important as well. The submit button. The submit button can be actually it can be a link button or can be an image button as well. So right now it's selected as a link button. And I can say what is a subscribe text. So I can say that this is subscribe me just for sake of example let's update this and as you can see now it says subscribe me the message at the top is no longer there the message at the bottom is no longer there but let's say for instance that i also want to make those fields a little bit uh, bigger I think there's a way to do that. Let's let because right now they are not that wide. As you can see, the the email address box is quite quite narrow. So let's go back to the settings. Now in the settings, I can scroll down, and I can go to. Let's see if there is a field that does that. Not here. Layout settings. Nope. Maybe in style sheet. So uh, again, this is a simple opt-in, so it does not have too many options. So for us to be able to increment, to increase the width of the fields, we have to manipulate a little bit of, CS of CSS inside the, CS the style sheet box. So under text box, opt-in simple text box, we need to create one extra line. And let's set this to just for sake of example to 500 let's make it very wide just so we can see the the difference there let's click update and as you can see now we have big boxes now again just put 500 just to make sure that it's very visible the difference but you can definitely make it that shorter so this is a basic overview of how you can use the opt-in module from data springs to set up uh, an opt-in form for users to subscribe to your newsletter. In future videos, I'm going to be covering more advanced aspects of this module. Thank you very much and bye for now.